Today is a shining example of community action and suicide prevention. The Connecting for Life conference is aptly named after a suicide prevention plan for County Donegal. It's really about coming together as a community to reconnect and our common goal, our vision, to reduce the number of deaths by suicide in the county. Connection is the most powerful protective factor against suicidal behaviour and self-harming because when we feel connected, we feel safe. The last few years have been incredibly difficult and challenging for us. And we, even in the last few years with the increased cost in living, the pandemic, the influx of new communities, and also the hardship of Micah and her friends and on her families, we can at times feel disconnected. Today is really about hearing the voices of our priority groups, our young people, those who have been bereaved by suicide, and those who have suffered discrimination and inequality are travellers and also those with concurrent substance use disorders and mental health difficulties about what we can do as a community to reach in and what we can do to create a climate where others, if they need to, feel safe enough to reach out. Uh, attend today really uh, to get the opportunity to look at the different services that are out there, get the opportunity to meet people face to face, say hello post COVID and try and get those real connections with real people back up and running again in the community. Attended the conference today for Connecting for Life because it's a big part of our strategy within the Family Resource Centres and part of our action plan for 2023 to help prevent suicide in our area. The, the theme of today was that suicide is everybody's business. And I think today, you know, the learning that we received from the Travellers Project, also from nationally with the group HUG in relation to suicide bereavement and statistics that they provided with the National Suicide Research Foundation, that brought sort of, you know, clarity of what's required with that. And of course, what services are available here in Donegal? So I'm sure those who are involved could see what the story is nationally, how we implement that locally, and then what services are available. From what I've heard today with the statistics from the keynote speakers, unfortunately suicide is still a very prevalent issue um, and it's not going away so I think we have to have a better understanding. So current research is excellent and really informative to the services that we provide to young people. I suppose my attendance at the conference today is primarily focused on the, the mental health challenges and prospects and outcomes of Traveller Men. I think it's really important we've conducted a piece of research looking at the experiences of Traveller Men specifically in Donegal in relation to their mental health challenges so to share kind of the processes and outcomes and the findings but also really importantly the recommendations for change. So I'm going to invite you to follow me in a few movements and a few breaths to reach up to the ceiling, breathing in and down and out and in Excellent It's very important to keep this, t this type of conversation casual, to reduce the stigma, to make it a normal part of life I would often ask people now, how are they? And the typical Irish answer is, I'm not sure I'm grand, I'm fine. But actually, when you ask it maybe a second or third time, come here, listen, how are you? Tell me what's going on. People actually really want to reflect and want to express what they're saying. So it's good to, first of all, to have the skills to probe that wee bit further when you know someone's off, but also to normalise the conversation. Yeah, so I think, look, all the research is there, all the data is there. I think not, what you want to see now is maybe something actually getting done about it and things actually being put in place within services to help this research and all this data there and for the support to be put in place for people to actually be able to use them. I think probably one of the most uh, important pieces is uh, Fiona from HUG who gave us a very real perspective on what it's like to be a person who's bereaved by suicide and, and how important it is just to sit and listen uh, and be with those people uh, when, they're, when they're experiencing grief, you know. And we're very lucky today because we have a number of services present in the room. We have Pieta, the SCAN nurses, we have the Healing All Told Grief Groups who are here to provide support but also to raise awareness of the support services that are out there if people find themselves suffering from suicidal thoughts. And it is important to get help as soon as possible.
What's also important about today is that we have an opportunity to let the people of Donegal know about free training and suicide prevention that is available from the safe talk to the assist to the understand and self-harm. It's so important that we do break down stigma, shame and discrimination around mental health, that we do provide an opportunity for people to begin that recovery process. One in three of us will have a mental health difficulty at some point in our lives. So we want to address any barriers to people reaching out and accessing support.